welcome back to Mandy Loves Japan. We are back for another taste test video and last time we did a taste test we mentioned briefly about the drinking culture in Japan. Mm. Lots of people drink beer a lot but there's also a heap of other options mm. available and today we want to show you four uh, different flavors of beverages that you can get at pretty much any convenience store or supermarket. Um, that's something that has been interesting for us to get our head around yeah. from Australia uh, for starters that we can get uh, alcohol at any convenience store and they're open until well some of them are 24 hours yeah um, for, for our Japanese and even American friends um, in Australia you have to have a license to sell alcohol mm -hmm. and those licenses are expensive and difficult to get uh, and, and for the most part particularly in Queensland uh, supermarkets don't sell alcohol no. and convenience stores don't sell alcohol so if you want yes. to buy alcohol you have to go to a specific alcohol outlet a some, sort of, some sort of a liquor store yeah. to buy alcohol and and so it makes it more of a you know, I was gonna say event but that's the wrong word but you know it's a, a store you go to purely for the purchase of alcohol mm. whereas here you can while you're going to the convenience to grab a bottle of milk for breakfast you can grab a beer as well yeah I mean, if that's your thing. So we wanted to talk about some of the fruitier options that are out there. So I've got um, this particular brand, Horoyoi. Horoyoi. Horoy not, um, not sponsored, but we're not sponsored, but that's what the brand is. Um, they do a range of what a lot of Australians would call girly drinks. Um, or Alco Pops. Alco Pops, perhaps. And as you can see here, it says alcohol 3%. So these are a quite a light beverage, but that's mm. also been something that we've been having to get our heads around as well because they don't uh, list, or at least I haven't been able to find a listing, um, for standard drinks. We mm. have a standard drink in Australia. We know basically that men, generally speaking, can handle two standard drinks in the first hour and one each hour after that and still be fairly yeah safe so we we all have different limits tolerances, but we, tolerances yeah. um but most of us who have a few drinks know how many standard drinks we can handle right and so whether we're drinking a light beer or a heavy beer or uh, mixing our own or having a pre-mixed can or whatever mm. We have some idea if we look at the can or the bottle and it says how many standard drinks it is we've got a fair idea of how many of those we can handle yeah um something we found particularly fascinating here in japan there's obviously the three percenters and there's a lot around that four five six percent but they've even got nine percent cans yeah um and the nine percent cans come in a 500 ml size as mm. well so if you buy one of those mm. and you're drinking that you could easily just down four standard drinks in no time flat mm. um and that can be a real danger i mean yeah. especially if you're a bit of a lightweight like me um you don't want to be messing around with that too much yeah um so, so if you're planning a visit to japan have have a look see what it says whether it's three six or nine and seriously please but, drink safely yep yeah, drink responsibly and those nine percenters are not for beginners no definitely not i i don't like them myself they just have a very very strong taste Okay, so this one is Momo, and it says 2023 limited edition, so that's something that Japan does as well. They have lots of limited edition items, not just in drinks, but also in uh, snacks, um, in fast food outlets as well. So each month, for example, um, a particular food outlet with a big golden M, um, I'm not going to be in trouble <laughs> for saying that, I hope. Um, we'll have a different seasonal menu every single month. So it creates this feeling of urgency of, oh, I've got to try that because it won't be around next month. And similar with the drinks and not just alcoholic drinks, but also soft drinks as well. Um, in spring, there's a lot of sakura <clears throat> flavors out. And in autumn, there's different flavors as well. So anyway, so well, this is our peach. I just want to say with that, something that really surprised me with that Everyone knows that Japan has a huge vending machine culture. There's lots mm. of vending machines. It, you, know, you can walk a block in any direction and you'll find a vending machine. Even sometimes in the country, in the middle of a, a country road, down some back alley, there'll be a vending machine just on the side of the road with no obvious customers. Um, but <laughs> something that's, that really surprised me is the vending machines are seasonal. 
Mm. So it, when it's colder weather, they've got more hot drinks in there, and when it's ho hotter weather, they've got more cold drinks in there. Um, but that, again, that's something that impressed me is that walking around in, particularly walking around in Fukushima in winter when we've been there when it's zero degrees and snowing sideways, yeah. it's really, really nice to go to a vending machine, throw in a dollar or two and get a hot can of coffee. Mm. Um, it just impresses me that that's possible, um, let alone that it's common. Sometimes I just grab the hot can of coffee and hold it. I don't yeah. even want to drink it. Yeah. I just want to hold it. At a dollar, it's a cheap hand warmer. <laughs> All right, let's try this. So this mm. is peach. Now, I have tried peach flavored things in Australia and sometimes they're pretty ordinary. Mm. They just don't taste like real peach. We've got can. Oh, it's clear. I kind of expected it to be pink. All right. I probably poured way too much there, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, too much for a taste test. Oops. That's alright, we'll drink through it. Uh, responsibly. Very responsibly. Sweet. That's nice. You can definitely taste the peach. It's light and refreshing. It is light and refreshing. I think that'll be a good summery drink. It's sweet. Um, it's not got that really, really strong peach flavour. Mm. Like, I've had some beverages here and some mm. snacks that have a really, really strong peach flavour. That's a very mild peach yeah. flavour. You often find with peach or fruit flavoured things that it's like an artificial fruit flavour. That, no, that tastes I don't know, fairly I don't natural. I don't know if there's juice in there or whatever, but it just, it, that tastes like peach to me. I'm a little bit blind these days. I don't have my glasses on, so we're just going to go with I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. All right. This one is really cool. This one came out very recently, and it's... Um, Fireworks flavoured? Pineapple. I was close. It's pineapple. So this one has been released for summer, and summertime is fireworks time in Japan. Mm. Um all of the big uh, festivals that happen in summer have massive fireworks displays and this little foot in here this is traditionally seen in summer as well so you can see that like this is actually a really pretty can as well i really like that i'm going to be a little bit more frugal this mm. time pouring so yeah, right. pineapple flavor i love pineapple mm. um Fruit is something I have missed a lot of here. Yeah. Because it's very expensive. Um, so you need to be quite choosy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just have half a dozen pieces of fruit. Come back. Mm. I could smell the pineapple before I tasted it. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's, it's not terribly flavoursome, which surprised me a little. Yeah, I expected oh. it to be more flavour. Once again, very light sort of yeah. flavour. Um, but definitely no alcohol burn or anything, which oh, is no. very nice. Of course, it's only 3%, so it's yeah. not going to be terribly <clears throat> strong. Now, this one is Shiroi Sour, White Sour, mm. which um, the white sour thing in Japan is a bit of a thing, isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't really know what it is. So, this is my inexperience, but I, there's a thing that they do here called a, a milk soda which is like a carbonated milk beverage. Mm. And I think when they go to, and they call it white, that is the same thing. It is a carbonated milk beverage. Mm. And, and I completely agree with anyone who says carbonated milk sounds absolutely disgusting, but I love it. It is so good. Once again, um, it's got, oh, you can actually see it's quite milky in mm. appearance, but um, it's, it's a really, boy. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's, I mean, th that also looks like aspirin, um, <laughs> but I bet it doesn't taste like it. Yeah, let's give it a go. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's that's delicious. definitely got a milkiness to it, yeah. and it's just such an interesting flavour, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think with the milky thing, it's, it's probably... Like, I, I think if you got a bottle of milk and put it into a soda stream or something, you, you'd, <laughs> you'd just wish you hadn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you'd probably just give yourself a stomach ache. But this is more like they've got some sort of culture, like, so maybe maybe a, a hint of drinking yogurt and add oh, it to soda yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of that, that drinking yogurt flavour. Yeah. Gives it a bit of a tang, but it's light. Like, it doesn't look like a cup of milk by any stretch, but there's that hint of milky flavour. Mm, mm. mm. 
Very cool. All right, now I did talk about the you know limited edition things. This one is brand new. Mm. I saw it just the other day and I thought, ooh, I have to try that. So here we go. Uh, this one it says 15 years, the 15th year, 15 year, uh, the I symbol means like the 15th one that you see. So, and then it says special mix fruits rainbow. So it looks like it's got all of the fruit, mm. which just to me sounds like a really I, good I time. I see a mango on the side there, so I'm ready There's to There's mango, lemon, peach, apple, pineapple, and two different types of grapes. Yep. So I think this is going to taste amazing. Yep, as long as it tastes more like mango than grapes. <laughs> he doesn't like <laughs> the grapes. Something that's huge here is the purple grape flavour. He doesn't rate it at I all. Just, not at all. The kids love it. The Mandy kids loves love it. it. Um, but if you want something to be safe in the fridge with me, um, it's grape. I'll remember that. Well, I can't taste the grape. It kind of tastes like nothing. Yeah, I'm surprised that that's not more punch-like. I, I think I want another taste, but I, I think... <laughs> I think it's like... There's just so much going on that it doesn't it doesn't taste like a it thing. It actually just tastes a bit watery mm. to me. Like, I think they've tried to dull down the flavour a little bit. And I don't, I don't think I can pick one fruit flavour out of that. <clears throat> no. It does taste a little bit like... It tastes a bit like a fruit cup cordial. Like a Cotty's fruit cup cordial that's had too much water put into it. Yeah. And mm. then carbonated. And carbonated. Um, yeah, it's definitely drinkable. Um, I mean, you could drink it, but like... Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another little extra on Mandy Loves Japan. Um, unfortunately that last video we were doing cut out early because the camera overheated. That's how hot it is inside with the aircon on. So uh, anyway, we thought we'd do a, a little bonus. Um, Mandy's off at work, um, so I've got James to sub in. Um, so we're going to try something that Mandy probably wouldn't be willing to try. It's another beverage. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it looks like fire. It it literally has pictures of fire and um, it looks yeah. like death. Yeah, it oh, it's, it's got a warning label and pictures of chilies. So we do have some standby water just in case. James and I will have a taste of this each, and we will see how we go. Let's have a smell first. Just smells like soft drink. Yeah, it smells like soft drink. It smells like something I would drink. So it like, smells like something with a lot of artificial sweeteners and stuff in it. Yeah. Anyway, there is some for both of us. Come by. Come by. That is. It's got some heat, hasn't it? Oh, that is spicy, Dad. So that's like. As it's you're no drinking way. it, it doesn't taste too bad. But then as soon as you've had that mouthful, there's the burn in the back of the throat. There's no way you would choose to drink that. Yeah, I'm not going to have any more of that. That's... <coughs> um, that is... That's hot. That's... Oh, I, I don't know what it says. My throat is tingling. It says, it says 12 somethings. Maybe one bottle kills 12 people. I don't know. Sounds right. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you're having a wonderful summer or a wonderful winter for those back in Australia. Um, thanks again for watching. Johnny. Johnny.